My name is Adam Langerman. My company is Hairshop Designs. Hairshop Designs is a naval architecture and engineering company that focuses on classic yachts and traditionally inspired new designs. Hairshop Designs and Snipe Yacht has been a great partnership uh, because we're each really good at what we do. So I'm a naval architect. Initially, my real focus was on the CAD side of things, actually inputting the design information into the computer. And the CNC is um, sort of a natural progression from that because it's a lot of the same software. And I also have an understanding of how the boats get built and put together. So being able to translate that from the construction drawings into the actual parts that we need to build the boats um, was a big help. CNC really helps us take the, the quality of the construction to a whole other level because we're creating it to a much higher precision and to a higher standard. I think the two biggest places we've seen efficiencies is in the making the molds for the boats and then making the casting patterns for the metal pieces. The molds, by cutting them out on the machine, are much more accurate than running plywood through a saw. Uh, and so at the end of the day, we're saving time not in just making the molds, but in also fairing the boat once it's planked up because we're, we're starting with a closer shape to the final shape. With the tooling patterns, a tooling pattern like this would take uh, days or weeks to make whereas the information is already in the computer, so to cut it out on the CNC is, is half a day. Uh, and we know it's accurate and we know it's gonna be a great finished product. Doris was the biggest project we've taken on the CNC. And for instance, making the molds for Doris, which had to be uh, several inches thick to take steam bending, solid uh, white oak frames to, uh, and at a large scale, somewhere 12 feet wide and 12 feet tall, Three men were able to build the entire set of molds, 61 molds for Doris in less than five weeks using the CNC machine. Um, which in a traditional sense, that would have been months and months and months. We're still seeing gains by using the CNC molds um, in the fairing process. And when we go to build the interior for Doris, we, since we've controlled the, the inside shape of the frames, we know the interior is gonna fit exactly how we build it to the plans. And moving into the next stage of Doris with the fittings, you know, the fact that we're starting with so little original fabric with regards to the metal parts, um, there's going to be hundreds of parts that we only need one or two of. And so by having this technology, um, you know, without it, making these, all this tooling traditionally might not be feasible. I think uh, right now the thing I'm most excited about is seeing how the things we've done early on in the restoration of Doris are paying dividends um, throughout the whole project. And when the whole project does come together, it's gonna to be really exciting to look back and see how applying the technology, whether it's CNC or 3D printing, has really changed how we do things and, and what we're capable of. There's so many different aspects of craftsmanship that go into a boat. When these boats were being built on a production level, there were teams dedicated to one skill set so they could focus on that skill set. Whereas now, our team has to be skilled in all those different skill sets. So when it's time to plank the boat, the whole team is planking the boat. When it's time to fare the boat, the whole team is faring the boat. Um, I think where the CNC helps is it makes each one of those jobs a little easier. Between the computer-aided design and the computer-aided machining, um, you know, we're able to bridge some of those gaps. Now we're able to set the guys up to succeed by starting um, with a precision tool or a precision jig or a precision mold. So the expertise of the two companies coming together uh, has been a great collaboration. This technology is so much different than traditional boat building or restoration. You really have to focus on one at a time. And so for me, being able to focus on the technology side of things and collaborating with the boat builders on how I can help them and what they need to succeed uh, has really been a win-win overall.